I believe Israel has no right to exist. I believe the United States has no right to exist. I believe... How you doing, ladies and gentlemen? Simple Son here. Welcome back. Um, I was trolling Twitter as I do usually every day. X, whatever you want to call it. Um, I came across this video of this young lady um, being everything that everybody should worry about. This is the actual hatred in the world that... Uh, you, you, that people should be scared of. So we're going to check this out. Um, come back intermediately. And, um, uh, she's, she's an aggravating human being to, to the point of like, like, why is she getting our money? And I'll explain that later on. So let's get into this. Everyone, the rumors are true. I am anti-Israel. I am pro-Palestine. And I am 100% Ten toes down anti-Israel. I believe Israel has no right to exist. I believe the United States has no right to exist. I believe every settler colony who has committed genocide against native peoples, against indigenous people, has no right to exist. So we don't have a right to exist. Israel doesn't have a right to exist. The United States doesn't have a right to exist. Um, you didn't have a problem taking $250,000, a quarter million dollars of the U.S. federal money for your dumbass program just to turn around and say we don't exist. Right? So, so your argument is these people who gave me a quarter million dollars through an elementary school program for your woke kindergarten nonsense. Uh, we shouldn't exist because... We're going to get into it further. I'm going to show you evidence of uh, this person taking a quarter million dollars of our money. Uh, but it, 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 it's it's upsetting to, to hear somebody talk this way. Um, l let's continue to hear what this, this, this moron has to say. I believe in a free Palestine from the river. To the sea. I believe one day Palestine will be free. Is this news to anybody? So you spew these little taglines, these little, you know, this river to the sea nonsense about how Palestine should exist, but you don't want Israel to exist? Right? So just 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 on its face, it's hypocrisy, right? You're saying that this one person doesn't exist shouldn't exist, but this one set of people should. Right? You don't see the hypocrisy in that? You don't see the fact that... that For what? What's your opinion? Why? Just because you don't like them? Well, shouldn't shouldn't somebody else's opinion in the other direction, saying that Palestinians shouldn't exist? Should, isn't that just as, you know, valid as your dumbass opinion? We'll continue. White supremacy destroys for the sake of destruction. Abolition destroys for the sake of creation. We are not the same. So you're an obvious dumbass, right? Because you obviously don't know what the definition of abolition is, right? It, it, it's to set free. It's not to destroy, right? And white supremacy, the definition of that isn't an end to destroy, right? But you say white supremacy destroys, right? Um, so... Say white supremacy helped build the United States. You took a quarter million dollars from that same white supremacist that you say you hate. You're just a walking dumbass. Let's continue. I have an unwavering respect for children. An unwavering love and care and compassion for children. A commitment to children and to their freedom, to their learning, to their lives, to sustaining their lives. You have a vested interest in keeping them alive. You literally said that the United States and Israel shouldn't exist. That includes our children. Um, and you, your program is called Woke Kindergarten? You don't give a shit about the children. You give a shit about the children when it benefits you. The children that you actually specifically care about. Again... You're a hypocrite, you're a monster, and this is what a real Nazi looks like, people. This is an actual Nazi. A Nazi isn't like, hey, we should do A, B, and C so we get the outcome of X, Y, Z on a functional, you know, monetary policy arrangement. 
This person just wants these people to die because she doesn't like them. She wants the destruction of Israel and the United States, which is beyond dumb. This is an actual Nazi right here. This is what Nazism and evil looks like. Look at this face. This is this is Nazism as we speak. We've been trying to end y'all. Get free of y'all. That was the end of the video. Uh, but you see that she's trying to get free of y'all, right? Trying to get free of what? You have a perfectly good life, right? So who is this person? Um, I'll show you exactly who this person is. I want everybody to meet A.K.I. Kai Gross. Um, obviously, they're they, them, because it couldn't be she, her. Obviously. Is an abolitionist and early educator, cultural organizer, and creator currently innovating ways to resist, heal, and liberate, and create with their pedagogy that's teaching woke kindergarten. Um, this person runs a program called a program called Woke Kindergarten. is a global abolitionist early childhood ecosystem and visionary creative portal. I gotta be honest with this website. It seems like one of them like fraudulent ones people set up just to uh, you know get people to click on it and put their information in it and they steal from you. I'm not saying that's what it is, but this person, it their their pedagogy. I see they they love the word. Um, kind of, you know, it, it feels evil when she says it out loud. This almost looks, you know, a little wokish, but she's more, uh, uh, the realm of a Nazi than anything else. This is from the San Francisco Chronicle. This Bay Area school district spent $250,000 on woke kindergarten program. Test scores fall even further. Just the headline tells you every. Pretty much everything you ever really would ne ever need to know. But we're going to continue. So this article goes on to read. A Hayward Elementary School struggling to boost uh, low test scores and dismissal student attendance is spending $250,000 in federal money, a.k.a. your cash, for an organization called Woke Kindergarten to train teachers to confront white supremacy, disrupt racism, and oppression and remove those barriers to learning. For one, I gotta ask, um, is in San Francisco, in their elementary schools, are they having this much of an issue with white supremacy and barriers of entry? Really? So you gotta spend a quarter million dollars to that moron, um, Akai or Kai, whatever her goddamn name was. You gotta spend a quarter million dollars for her. Let's go. The woke kindergarten sessions train teachers on concepts and curriculum that avail... That's available to use in classrooms with any of Glassbrook Elementary's 474 students. Divided by $250,000. That's a lot of money. The sessions are funded through a federal program, aka your money, meant to help the country's lowest performing schools boost student achievements. But two years into a three-year contract with Woke Kindergarten, a.k.a. Kai the, the Nazi, a for-profit company, student achievement at Glassbrook has fallen, prompting some teachers to question whether the money was well spent given the needs of the students. Of course it was. You should have asked that before you even gave the goddamn money out. Who are predominantly low income? Two-thirds of the students are English learners and more than 80% are Hispanic and Latino. So let me get this straight. You spent $250,000 on taxpayer money to teach what seems to be the vast majority of people in this school are not white anyway. You're teaching them about white supremacy. Which, none of them are white for the most part. On something that doesn't exist. They obviously, there's no white supremacy in the school, so they're not feeling it. So, what example are you using in their everyday lives that says that white supremacy exists in the first place? You had to spend $250,000 on that. You couldn't have just went to some weird YouTube channel, which I'm pretty sure that somebody exists teaching the same kind of curriculum, it's nonsense.
But everybody should know that this person right here got a quarter million dollars of your taxpayer hard-earned money to teach kids about white supremacy in elementary school in San Francisco. As if San Francisco isn't already the one of the most woke places in the world. You're going to spend a quarter million dollars on that nonsense. It, it, shamefully, to spend $500 or so on each student just to be taught that white people be bad is kind of shameful. And um, honestly, we should ask for our money back because it, it, as the article went on to say, it didn't do anything. Kids just got worse. So teaching kids about white supremacy, a.k.a. white people be bad, um, didn't help anybody. So I'm simple, son. Um, hopefully people follow up on this. Hopefully somebody starts asking questions where their goddamn money went to and uh, where we're going to get it back. Um, hit the like, subscribe, notification bell, share this. Um, hopefully there's some kind of outrage. Hopefully some people want their money back. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.